Alright, today we're going to look at the remainder theorem for polynomials and we're going to illustrate an example. Okay. So the question is, find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by the linear divisor 3x plus 2. So we learned in the earlier video that we can use long division to find the remainder. Okay. But firstly, let us write, okay, let fx okay, be this polynomial. And we can, of course, use long division to find the answer. However, since we just want to find the remainder, the question is, is there a faster and more effective method? Now, remember from our last video, we can represent fx, okay, the dividend, as the product of the divisor and the quotient plus the remainder. Okay, and we just want to find the remainder here. Now, since this is actually an identity, okay, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side for all values of x. Okay. So, if I can choose a term that can get rid of this first term here, all right, we are only left with the remainder. In this case, I let f, okay, I let x to be equal to negative 2 over 3. So on the right hand side, 3 times negative 2 over 3 plus 2, q of negative 2 over 3 plus r. Now r is a constant, right? So it, it won't be affected by your value of x. So in the first term here, okay, I get 0. Okay, so 0 times this quotient is also 0 plus r. So effectively, when I substitute negative 2 over 3 into x, I get the remainder immediately. Okay. So when I substitute in, I get okay, 4 times negative 2 over 3 cubed minus 2, negative 2 over 3 squared plus 7, negative 2 over 3 minus 4. Alright, and if you work it out, you'll get negative 10, 20 over 27. Alright, so by doing this, we found the answer directly without using long division. So, in this case, okay, at this step here, we use remainder theorem. So whenever you do your working, you should quote the theorem that you're using. All right, so by remainder theorem, the remainder is given by this expression.